Hey everyone, Eat Sleep from the Techies here, and today I'm gonna bring you a rather interesting tutorial. Well, actually, all the Techies tutorials are interesting and fun filled. <laughs> so, um, I'm, this is obviously Paint.net, and I'm gonna show you a little bit about, uh, like 3D objects, and yeah, that's pretty much it. And some bonus stuff, maybe, so stay tuned. Good stuff. So I have a, I'm just going to use this earth picture right here, um, very nicely done. Anyways, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to effects, uh, render, shape 3D. Now this effect is not like, comes with the program, uh, it's actually a plugin that is very good and I'll put a link if I'm not lazy. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and use it, and look at that. What it does is you can choose a sphere, cylinder, or box, and for sphere, it turns that map into an actual globe, and I can go around and rotate it wherever. So pretty amazing of how easy this is, and like that, look at that, there we go what four or five clicks and we made a globe and of course you can always choose the options like uh, half and plane map scalable all these look really really awful that one looks okay it looks pretty cool but pretty much if you're using a like making a planet then you're gonna use full sphere map and there's all this stuff down here where you can rotate the map on the thing like change it that way Oh, so that's how you do that. Uh, okay, oh, sorry. Anyways, yep, tons of uh, orientations you can change. Camera angle, like how it zooms in and out, pretty much like that. Another thing to note that is if, if you want a rather large object, then you want a rather large image because uh, it, it looks pretty bad if you have a small map and it make a large sphere it looks pretty awful but I think that um, it will resize for you like the sphere or whatever and then there's a bunch of junk down here that like uh, change lighting and where you want to move it and all that junk stuff cool so I don't know why I just did that uh, I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that really quick like that there we go so now I'm gonna show you something really cool that you can do with this and I also have a moon map right there this guy and I'm just gonna repeat again pretty much all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna control C this into here add a new layer control V it and we have a giant moon and I'm going to scale it down a little bit, actually. Uh, like so. Like that. There we go. And then I'm going to take my Earth, Control-C it, and add a new layer. Control-V it. There's our Moon. Don't know why the... I mean, there's our Earth. Don't know why the Moon is so large. We'll change that really quick. And... Deselect. Deselect. Okay, so. Uh, scale and scale and scale and scale and scale and scale and down, scale down, scale down. Looks kind of flat, but no, that's good. It's good stuff like that. So you can make really uh, simple things like this that look like you know what you're doing. Uh, if you want to model the solar system, you know, go ahead like takes five minutes maybe if you have this plug-in so um, recap all you really need to do is take a flat map preferably like something that would be the shape of a box or a cylinder or a sphere or it looks really bad like if you use something like a car um, it looks kinda it looks cool but it doesn't look good so anyways yeah I hope you enjoyed this tutorial this has been Eat Sleep from the Techies.
Thank you. Be sure to check out the Techies website for great game and software reviews, as well as a database of all Techies videos. Also, please sign up to our forum where you can request a tutorial or just talk about something that interests you.